Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zarina, your Upland newbie, bringing you the floor today, February 8th in all Upland cities. But before we talk about the Upland floor, in case you don't know what Upland is, it is a game, by the way. It is a virtual property game where there's a lot involved in Upland. Upland is mapped to the real world, meaning you can buy properties, property addresses that are real addresses in real life. You're not buying the actual property in real life. What you're doing is buying the value of the property in the metaverse. For example, if you own Madonna's house in the metaverse, some avid Madonna fans might want to buy that property from you. But even better than that, you might be able to host your own little VR events right on Madonna's property in Upland and invite people over and like one day maybe pay for the attraction. Who knows? But the bottom line is there's a lot coming in Upland. They've just got the avatars there. We've got racing now on the mobile. So lots to do. But because of that, there's also a big avenue for people who can develop and also build within Blender to get like a business within Upland. Part of that is like, well, decor. There's lawn decor. So people actually model lawn decor and sell it in Upland. So they also have these ornaments. So big, big deal is Blender is a good a good way to learn all this stuff to like actually have a foot in the door. So I'm gonna show my little Blender bit and just kind of go over what I've been practicing and some of the things I think are important for newbies starting out in Blender to know. So first off, when you have an object, see how I have that object and there's like another object, you have to make sure you or have your right object selected before you go into edit mode so that you can work on that particular piece. So there I select that portion because I wanted to actually work on trying to build a stairway off of this little balcony here inside the, in the inside of my little structure. So a big tip for everybody is to learn how to E extrude. So E is the hotkey and you can extrude along certain axes. So like there's an X axis, a, X axis, a Y axis, and a Z axis. You wanna make sure that you learn how to extrude on the, with the axis that you want to. Otherwise, when you're trying to move, it'll go all around everywhere. So E extrude is the hotkey, but if you put E like X, like E X, that means go along the X axis, E Y, go along the Y. So here I'm going E Z, and I'm going straight down. But I think I did. I pressed like Z and it messed it up because I didn't have to press Z. So if you don't have to press it, it means like don't press Z. It'll just naturally going that way. I think it's called along the normals. So then in that case, just press E and go the way it's going. So there I am trying to build that stair. You can see there's no face right there. So faces can be filled in by selecting edges. And you can see like I'm selecting the edges right there. Like hold down shift key to select more than one edge. Just like in like any other program, you hold down shift, you can highlight mo multiple ones. So I'm highlighting the two parallel edges right there. And I filled them in by pressing F. That's another hot key for to learn. Just press F and it will fill in the space for you. But then I was like, wait, the top part of the stair doesn't have that face. So I actually need to like undo that. So you can undo by pressing control Z. And then you can select faces that little kind of like filled in face up there I pressed so that you can like delete and you can delete by pressing X. So X to delete, and then you can pick that you want to delete faces. Here I am extruding again, so E, and I'm extruding that face, which means bringing it outward, kind of like making it more thick, and I'm dropping it down. So anyways, that's my little tidbit for you today, is E, extrude, and you press E and the axis that you want to extrude on to get that right. And then also to fill space, you can select the edges, like two edges that are crossed from each other, and then press F to fill that face. All right, so that's my tidbit. I hope it helps. Let's go ahead and get to the floor. Here is our upland floor today, and it's not too bad. It's a little red up top, the green on the bottom. Um, what I do notice is I went and checked out um, San Francisco, $11.67, and it's DJ Shorts again. But well, here's what I found out. He didn't just own them forever. This D, this DJ Shorts, these properties, he actually recently got back in January. Like he bought with Upix and now he's selling super cheap on the dollar side. So people who are like, oh, he's getting out of the game. It doesn't seem like he's really getting out of the game. It seems like he bought some properties with his Upix and is like now cashing out some more money. So I'm not sure we've really seen the last of DJ Shorts in Upland. I think DJ Shorts is still playing. But leave a comment, DJ, and let us know what's going on. Why'd you buy that property in San Fran in January and now you're flipping it if you're just out of the game? Let us know. We want to know. You know, you're kind of a big star up in Upland. 
all the rage on Discord. So I want to hear from you personally if you're out there. All right, everybody. Happy hunting. I'll see you guys in Upland. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe.